I played that just to give you an idea of uh, the difference that's kind of happen ha happened in the last, I suppose, since Congolese music started, really. What I, it's very important for me. I really want people to know that um, African music is not just ancient music that doesn't change. It's not just like this old music. It's also evolved just like classical music, like jazz music, you know, it evolves. There's new influence coming into it um, all the time. I can show you the difference between how it used to be played in the 70s, how it used to be played in the 80s, in the 90s, and in the last, whatever, 10 years, five years, it's always changing. So like, for instance, in, in the 70s, there used to be a lot of this kind of octave. <laughs> always there like nearly every line would, would have octave but that's because of you know why because of West you know West Montgomery his influence is, is, is really really huge in the in the Congolese music because after West in the 70s and 80s if you listen to the music of back then it was always this kind of See? They don't play the same as you know with the thumb. With, it's to develop this picking technique where you have the f the um, the pick there, but you also use these fingers as much as you can. Like so, if you go back, listen to music of Congo from the 70s and the 80s, you would hear always this kind of thing. You know. That's a very, very, very famous line there from one of my favorites of Congo, which his name is Hoxi Chimpaka. Again, third. Again, I was telling you about learning the modes. Let, let's, let's see what he does here. It's basically the whole um, arpeggio of a of a of of a of a, of a seven D seven. He does all that. Um, but if you go to seventies and eighties, you would hear a lot of this. But then. There was a no, there was a slight mo uh, change in the late eighties. There was a new kind of band that came more younger again. They called they called Wingy Musica, and their guitarist is also one of the the best in of, of, in the last thirty years. Or so, what was particularly what did he bring is he was more a younger guy, so he was more into running around the stage, you know, dancing and running. The thing about this old stuff, you can't really dance, it's hard. Even today, if I'm playing with them, I have to really focus. It's like... You can see there's lots of movements, so you can't just be dancing and playing this, you know? Uh, but then there was the younger... This band came in the 90s, in the uh, late 80s. He was more into dancing, running around the stage. So what he did is, he would start like, which is, which is more kind of in the old style, but then eventually he'd come into something. Like that. This is one of his most famous famous line. You see, it's just literally one place. So what does that mean? You can run around the stage and jump up and down as much as you want. And then what happened? Since then, most people have followed this. So now, if you go to Congo, you would hear a lot of this kind of line.
there's not a lot of movement so it's uh, what they did basically they slow they slow down the tempo and they made things much easier so it's easier to play and you can run around the stage and so this style of the old is nearly gone you know this kind of um you know and uh, this um You hardly hear anybody playing like this anymore, which is a shame. Uh, but um, the thing is, it got much easier to play. And but what I like about the new style for me is groovier. That's for sure. I love the fact that it's slow, so it gives you time. You know, because you know, as I say, in the old time it was fast. So if you watch even the footage of these guys playing back then. They used to, they don't laugh. So we used to, I remember when we were children, watching TV, we always used to laugh. What What's wrong with those old guys? They play music, they don't laugh. They just, you know, so focused. But it's only when I started learning, I realized, my God, they had so much work to do. And so that's the difference there between, between you know, this like the, the more kind of artistic style that was before, you know, the 90s. Then there's the more kind of like melodic, easy, after after the 90s which everybody now kind of follow really you know most people now you find like a 